Hey guys, it's Kim Dao here. Welcome back to my channel. I'm currently in Osaka. It's day number one and I'm going to be doing a lot of sightseeing, eating. I'm going to show you guys what I get up to. For the next few days, I'll be traveling around the Kansai region and I'm going to take you guys with me. Sit back, relax and enjoy the beautiful city of Osaka. Just in front of Osaka Jo, which is Osaka Castle, we're gonna go inside now. One of the most famous castles in Japan, Osaka Castle, is conveniently located at Osaka Jo Koen Station. Currently on the very top floor of Osaka Castle, and you can see a very beautiful 360 degree view of Osaka. Inside is a museum where you can learn the history of the castle. The castle was originally built in 1586 under Toyotomi Hideyoshi's rule. However, in 1615, the castle was attacked and destroyed by Tokugawa Ieyasu. The castle was rebuilt but got struck by lightning in 1665 and burnt down. The Osaka castle was rebuilt over many years and in 1997, it finally completed. We are going to go back to the train station now because we're going to head to Namba. Now we are going to take the train to Shinsai Bashi, which is a long shopping street in Osaka. Yeah, I can't wait to eat some food. When you're in Osaka, you have to take a picture with that Glico man. I'm gonna do it again. Here we are in the Tombury, which is very famous in Osaka for great food and nightlife. There is a lot of entertainment and I really recommend you spend a couple of hours here just trying out all the different Japanese street food. We took a quick subway ride to Tenoji and are going to Abeno Harukas. 
the tallest skyscraper in Japan. There is an observatory at the top. When we were there, there was a special event going on, so we were able to do cool things like play Tetris. And we can also see beautiful projection mapping. On the next day, we went to America Mura, which translates to American Village. There are a lot of clothing stores, vintage stores, and lots of good food here. We are at Kushikatsu Tanaka and we are having a set menu. There's a long line outside, so this place is really popular. After lunch, we then headed to Nara, which was only about an hour away. Our first stop was Horyuji, a huge Buddhist temple which is a UNESCO World Heritage Site. There are three main sections. First off, we are going to Saingaran. There is Japan's oldest five-story pagoda that was built in the 7th century. Next, we went to Daihozoin, which displays national treasures. Unfortunately, we weren't able to film inside, so let's go to the next area. Next and last area is a Toy Garan. The main building is the Yumedono, which is the Hall of Dreams, an octagonal building built in the year 739. We then headed to Kashihara Jingu, which is a Shinto shrine. It was built in the Meiji period and is a beautiful and peaceful place. Right now I'm in front of Podaiji and this is in the middle of Nara Park. Mm -hmm. 
One of the most famous temples in Nara, the main hall which houses one of Japan's largest statues of Buddha, is also the world's largest wooden building. Just outside of Todaiji Temple, there are a lot of deers walking around. You can buy some deer crackers and then feed them. But be careful though, if you do have crackers, you'll be surrounded by a lot of deers. jacket because um, I had food and it chased me and I ran away. Are you hungry? Yes. Are you hungry? I am. Next, we went to Akashia, which is the largest brush manufacturer in Japan. We were lucky enough to do the final step of the brush making ourselves. Not only are they really well known for their calligraphy brushes, their makeup brushes are also excellent quality so I decided to get some for myself. Hey guys, it's night time now and we just had dinner. I'm going to end this video here because we are now at our new hotel room in Kyoto and Kyoto will be the next video for this trip. So far I've been really enjoying this trip because I absolutely love the Kansai region. It's actually my favorite region in Japan. So I really hope that this video would help you out if you plan to travel to the Kansai region and you only have a couple of days. Actually traveling around the Kansai region is really easy, especially between Osaka, Nara and Kyoto because everything is not too far away for example from Osaka to Nara it's maybe about 45 minutes and from Osaka to Kyoto it's about the same even less if you have the JR pass and you can use the bullet train I guess I've been to Kansai many times and I always have a blast because everyone is just so friendly here and there is so much more to see and eat unfortunately we only had about a day and a half in Osaka so we weren't able to do as much as you guys would probably want to see but definitely if you guys go to Osaka the places I mentioned in this video I definitely recommend it and you guys should check it out also if you have time you can go ahead to Nara as well we saw lots of temples and shrines also the deer park which was really cool because you have deers walking around everywhere and you can feed them uh, they bow to you and I also want to say a big thank you to the Japan National Tourism Organization for inviting me on this trip even though I've been to Kansai so many times Times, I actually learned so much on this trip. Please thumbs up this video if you enjoyed it and look forward to the next one which is going to be about Kyoto. Subscribe to my channel if you haven't yet and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye!
Bye guys. Thank you.